Hello, I'm Rich Lyons, Dean of Berkeley Haas, the business school here at UC Berkeley. I want to talk to you about path-bending leaders. That's the term we use. I want to tell you what it means. My kids are young. When I look at my kids, certain things come to mind. My kids are going to be around in 2080. There's some things that need to happen between now and 2080. Our society has been on a lot of pathways that have been pretty close to linear over the last 20 or 30 years that cannot remain linear over my kids' lifetime and probably not over my own lifetime. There are lots of examples. They're the same examples you would come up with. Healthcare expenditure. It's growing rapidly as a share of GDP. It cannot continue to grow that fast. Public education. Access to safe water around the world. The economics of aging. Energy use. Climate. Obesity. The list is long. We need to bend those paths. We are very optimistic we will, in part because these unsustainabilities are at the same time enormous commercial opportunities. And that's a really important part of being able to see the path ahead. We also have to make sure, though, we have the right leaders in the system. How do you do that? How do you get concrete about that? One of the things that we've been doing here at Berkeley Haas is defining a culture, a set of norms and values that help to define the right sort of person, a person who questions the status quo, i.e. a person who is always asking, there's got to be a better way to do this. A person who has confidence without attitude. That's important for engendering the, engendering the kind of trust and followership that's important for this type of leadership. A person who is learning as a student always, no matter what role they're in, no matter where they are in their career. And people who have a sense of beyond yourself, who live their life with a sense of stewardship for something larger. Add to that a curriculum with specific skills, concrete skills like problem framing. What is the problem? Can we frame it differently to bend the path? Running experiments to understand what paths are available, might be available. Influence without authority, beyond formal authority. All of these things put together to deliver the kind of leader to become the source for the kind of leader that we just know the future is demanding. Thanks for listening.